Welcome back to another episode of House Into Home. Everything's fine. Our front yard is dug up. We are replacing our old septic system, which had been in there since the original time the house was built. Shout out to High R ICF Construction for doing a fantastic job. This was a, a long time coming, and uh, they made it as smooth and silky as possible. Today, we're going to work on all things sanding. We're going to sand some spindles. No pun intended, because our front yard is a giant sand, <laughs> sand pit. pit. <laughs> Ooh, so clever. I you knew like that? I was marrying you for a reason. Uh, that wasn't it. Anyway, um, today, yeah, we're going to sand spindles. Um, I've got like a door that I need to really... It's kind of like a test door. Um, and then all kinds of little things. There's so many little things that need to be done. We're just going to do what we can today. And the paint color is changing again. Exciting. So we painted the walls, it went more blue, right? We lost, it was supposed to have like a green hue to it. Yeah. In different lights, it definitely looks different, but we're really feeling a strong blue vibe. And a lot of you guys commented as well about how blue it is. Mm -hmm. So I've gone back to get another paint that I've used before. Um, I saw it the first time on one of my girlfriend's walls. Um, Lisa, shout out to you. Um, I tried to mimic it in one of my bedrooms and it went on more blue because I went to Home Depot. So I actually went to Sherwin-Williams to get this specific color. I'm not sure if you can see this little blob on top. This is the color. So it's called Silver Strand and it's got more of a greeny hue to it, which is what we were looking for for this room. Um, we're just hoping that it goes on the walls and stays true to the color. It's very gray looking. You think so? I think so, but it does have a green hue. Are you ready? Yeah. It looks white. Give it a mix. <laughs> Let's give it a let's give it a swirl. As soon as it's on the wall, we're in for a treat. And we're not gonna change this one. Oh, well, we no, might. No, we no. might. I'm not a perfectionist, but I know what I like. <laughs> and if we have to live with it, that's a big thing. Alright, let's get this thing slathered on the wall, shall we? Before Kristen started painting, I got her to help me to remove the door. This is the door we're gonna be testing colors and finishes on. We're going with a nice pure white with a semi-gloss finish. And just like that, the room has been painted. Well, not the edges. You know, a lot of people told us to paint the edges first, and I told Kristen all about it, but she refuses to play by the rules. Well, because we still want to give it a second coat. You can't see it there, but there's a couple of terrible lines that I did in my paint job. Is it really? Yeah, so we want to repaint it anyways, so we might cut it in first and then do the second coat of paint. One thing's for sure though, this paint is a lot more gray and I don't know if you can tell on video, but there's definitely some greenish tones, which is what we wanted in the first place. You know what's funny? I think it looks more green actually on the camera than it does in real life. I think it has a little bit more gray to it, but I think the color is perfect in real life. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. From there, we moved downstairs where Kristen was sanding spindles and I was prepping the door for paint. Missing some we're gonna replace the hardware with something a little bit more modern. However, we are keeping the old hardware. Um, we'll either keep it or donate it so someone can use it. They're actually really cool, just not quite our style. that the door is there's a couple separate I guess bumps or they add character but unfortunately this guy doesn't properly fit in there so Dan is manually uh, getting in there to sand everything down nicely so we can get the uh, paint to stick but I left all the balls for you because you're better at sanding them and if I do it I'll probably mess up the corners we took a break from all the sanding to go on a little road trip. Making my way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> no, this isn't a uh, music video. However, some exciting stuff we found. I don't know if you already talked about it, did you? I did not know. So we found, uh, we decided to use a like old... Um, an antique dresser. Like an antique dresser, not an old one. For our bathroom vanity. For our bathroom, I was getting to it. So we're on our way to pick up this vanity, which is super exciting. Um, because we looked long and hard at new ones, old ones. And um, who had the idea? Uh, I have no idea. You don't remember, eh? No, it was probably you. It was probably you. Okay. I had the idea for how I wanted the sink. Um, 
which I'm pretty pumped up about. But the one thing with the vanity, because it's wood, um, something we have to take into consideration is that we might have to put like some kind of like um, like granite or something over top of it so that the water doesn't destroy it from being splashed everywhere. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that could be a problem. And we don't like problems. You've been a real problem. <laughs> While you guys are watching us drive along some back roads, now would be a great time to head over to Instagram, instagram.com slash houseintohomeyt. We post video previews and we let you guys know when a video has been uploaded. So good news. I want it. I got it. I want it. Well, I guess he want it. He got it. It's more like it because you wanted it. We talking about you? No, the. <laughs> oh! See what he did there? That was really cute. Anyways, it was a success, so we uh, we can't wait to show you the full thing. It has the original uh, knobs on it, and just I guess a bunch of chalk paint is what the lady said that she used on it. Like a ton of layers. And that was kind of funny because that's something that I had pointed out to Dan a couple days ago. Uh, in the depot and uh, something I wanted to try on one of my old dressers. So it's probably gonna happen. Anything you wanted to share? No. Kristen out. Daisy, where are you going? Where are you going? Hi. Say hello to the people. Your brother's inside. Your brother's always camera shy. Bubba's fine, by the way, just so everybody knows. This, by the way, is what we went to pick up last night this is an antique dresser okay it's been refinished by the new owner in a white chalk paint but we're going to turn this into a sink more on that later i'll, I'll probably uh, walk you guys through the entire process but now it's time for the first coat of primer on this door let's take a close look at what's going on here so it actually looks really cool um the way it's set up right now kind of like a very like rustic look to it but we're not we're not into it so we're gonna prime this bad boy and then we're gonna paint it and hopefully everything goes smoothly it is really speaking of smooth it is really smooth not a splinter to be had <laughs> Then it was finally time for paint. Door is finally painted, it's time to let it dry. By the end of the day, the septic system had been installed, the room had been repainted to a color we both love, and the first door had been painted. I hate it. Too shiny.